Today I'd like to introduce an ambitious project. It's a skull cap covered in NeoPixels and 3D printed diffusers to look kind of like a sci-fi EEG brain cap. Today we'll cover the sewing and soldering parts of this project, and in a future episode we'll cover programming LED animations and even controlling the cap over Bluetooth using your iOS or Android device. So be sure to subscribe to catch the next part when it's posted. First, print out the skull cap pattern for this project. It's available as a tiled PDF on the Adafruit Learning System. The link is in the description. Cut out the pieces and tape together the long center pattern piece. Your fabric choice here depends on your comfort level with sewing. A non-stretchy woven material is going to be best for beginners since the slippery or knit fabric can be tricky. But I can tell you after prototyping different versions of this project that the stretchy spandex one fits best across different head sizes. Cut two layers of fabric under each pattern piece. First construct two side panels and the center panel, then join all three of those together. Top stitch the seam allowances and around the edges. Try on your cap to make sure it fits. This project is very labor intensive, so it's worth the time it takes to get the fit right now, which is a small proportion to the time it'll take to solder and sew all the pixels. Next up, prep a whole pile of small silicone coated wires by marking the length, cutting and stripping both ends. Tin your wires and mini NeoPixel pads before joining the two. Create many strips of 7 to 11 pixels with all of the arrows in each strip pointing in the same direction. A foam head is very handy for the next step, which is to establish placement for the strips of pixels. Arrange and pin them to the cap, then use more wires to connect in between each strip. I also added extra power and ground wires as recommended for long runs of pixels, working them into the design of the cap too. Once your pixels are all soldered, wire them up to a flora if you plan to add advanced features like Bluetooth, otherwise you could get by with a Gemma for this project. Test them out and troubleshoot any connections now before proceeding to the sewing step. Now it's time to attach them all to the cap. Using clear or color coordinating thread, make stitches around the wires just before and just after each pixel. To make it as durable as possible, Make each attachment independently knotted off so that if one thread gets snagged, it doesn't release a whole row of pixels. While you're sewing the pixels, print out a big pile of diffusers in white or translucent Ninja Flex. Sewing on each NeoPixel and diffuser individually is definitely the most time consuming part of this project, and you can see I'm only a little over halfway there. Thanks for watching and join us next time when we'll cover adding a Flora Blue Fruit LE module and coding up some sweet animations for this head-turning costume project.